right guys welcome back to another video this is the fourth take i am doing for this video now the first take i did failed the second take i did was all right actually but the video was way too long and the third take i did was actually like 10 seconds before this started and that failed too but what's up guys welcome back to another vlog your boy has so much information to share with you and i'm gonna try to keep this short because my last clip for take number three was 18 minutes long and i don't want to keep you guys waiting that long i'm trying to give you guys a long video but not just 18 minutes of me talking and there was no cuts in that video too so yeah and you guys know i don't do takes for my videos but here i am trying to get it perfect you know hashtag vlog life anyways guys first off your boy's hair is getting so long i need to cut it i used to get it cut every month because of ro regulations and whatnot see i'm trying to keep this short and simple only going off the important points but the thing is barbershop clothes Barbershop clothes. I don't want to do another take. So this is what you guys have to work with now. I'm sorry. Barbershop are now closed because they are deemed non-essential businesses. So either A, I'm going to have to cut this myself, or B, grow it out, which I'm definitely not doing because it's about to be summer and it's getting hot. Second thing is, yes, a v work vlog will be coming soon for you guys because you guys have been asking when will we get a work vlog from you because now you guys know that I have a job now and I'm currently working at Rayleigh's. So therefore, yes, a work vlog will be coming along great and soon and it will be filmed. I just have to find a day where it's not like we're busy or anything and I could show you my routine, what I do on lunch, what I do on breaks, you know, hanging out with the people there. So yeah, therefore, yes, Video will be coming out soon. I'm trying to get it filmed this week. Hopefully a day's not too busy. I'll try and predict for a day that's not too busy. But yes, there's that. Third thing is, got some news on the coronavirus situation update. First off is, um, we're all still doing well here. I'm still staying healthy and safe. I hope you guys are as well. And I hope you guys are surviving through this pandemic and situation well. Um thing is all our stuff here is not really that bad and everything um it's everyone still takes seriously and you know it's just we're all right in our part of the state however the governor has ordered that we will not have school for the rest of the year i'm very excited and sad about that two reasons let's go over the cons first basically i'm not happy because i had a lot of ro events planned uh, for the end of for towards the end of the year, we had a lot of athletic competitions I was a part of, um, change of command ceremonies where I would have gotten promoted um, formally to uh, athletics team premier. So yes, big news, guys! I was gonna announce it to you when I was was part of change of command, but that didn't happen. So I'll, I'll say it now. Yes, your boy when we when he signed up for the interviews, and and papers, he didn't make the top three, which was all right, but. He made a team commander. So, yep, your boy is the new athletics team commander for the um, battalion at my school, along with uh, one of my friends as well. He is also an a, the athletics team commander. And, yeah, so that's good. That's good news. And, um, yeah, there's also Navy Ball, which I went to last year. I loved, and I can't go to this year. So sad face. So the only thing I miss not being in school is just a bunch of RO events I would have been a part of. But... Yeah, and also, sadly, uh, sorry to all my senior friends out there. You guys don't get prom or proper graduation or something. That's going to be rough on you guys, so I hope you guys are faring well. Um, the pros, though, is that means we don't have school until August. That's the start of my senior year. So, therefore, for the next four months, I have nothing to do besides going to work. That is if I do decide to continue working in the summer because right now I'm thinking probably till the end of Ju uh, June. But long story short, yeah, I have four months of nothing to do. So therefore, I can dedicate my full time to doing what I enjoy and putting my passion and all my dedication into this. Vlogging and making videos for you guys and Prop making, if you guys don't know, which you should by now if you guys have been here long enough. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, Ger Gerk, geek, nerd, and just all around fanboy. As you could tell from my whole room, I have a bunch of helm collectors' helmets lined up. I have, you know, an army of action figures up top. And 
I got these three huge, actually I got four of them now because this year when I went to Disneyland as well, so I got four. I got four of these um, Sideshow collectible figures, which if you don't know, are $300 a piece. So yeah, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. And we got the rack of lightsabers hanging off from there. I have more, I just don't have room to put it on the wall, which shows you how much of a nerd I am. And not to mention, I make my own props and it with uh, 3D printing, cat resin casting fiberglass whatever like this this is a dark saber i made looks pretty nice right all weathered up so yeah i make a lot of props and sometimes um i also get props from other people that make props um first off shout out to atlas armory uh he provided me with this helmet bam if you guys don't remember he also made this helmet that was the phase two animated clone trooper helmet this is the phase one realistic style version helmet which would perfectly which will go perfectly with my phase one uh realistic armor so i painted it the um cat clone trooper captain accent so it's all in red and nice just like episode two uh why i didn't do green because red used to be my favorite color and also when i first saw episode two that was my favorite clone so long story short i managed to finish this thing Thanks to the quarantine in one and a half weeks when it would have taken me with school and everything and just the weekends, it would have taken me a whole month like with the other one. Now all I gotta do, glue two pieces of greeblies on there, um, weather it up to make it look all dirty and battle worn and put the visor in, wait for that, waiting for that to arrive actually, and I'm all done. So therefore, thank you to the quarantine, this is the pros, I get to do what I love. I've been streaming, gaming with friends, streaming with friends i've been a part of a bunch of discord role plays for gta i've also been you know gaming a lot with my pc now yes I'm finally putting this thing to use on what it's actually meant for gaming all i've really been doing is just been you know browsing youtube and by the way of course watching youtube being a youtuber and yeah that's really nice really convenient and i've been loving it Second thing is, I'm not going to talk too much about it, but as you know from the main title of the video, I got another 3D printer. That's right. You guys know, I already have one right here. That is a $2,000 3D printer. That is costing me more money, and it's not paying off itself because the filament, the material that uses the 3D print, is $50 a piece, and it has to be their own brand. This is a MakerBot Replicator 5th uh, Generation 3D printer uses only maker all maker out printers uses only their own brand of filament which is costing me money because i can't use off-brand filament because they're only like 20 dollars a piece which pays off for stuff so i finally got a nice 3d printer i'm not gonna show you right now i did in the other clip but guess what i deleted the other clip so you guys can't get a sneak peek because first off it's late at night second of all i got better lighting in the morning so i'm gonna show you when i wake up i bought a new 3d printer for only 700 bucks because it was on sale and it's so much bigger i'm going to talk so much about that 3d printer later in the, the next clip so therefore you guys have to wait for that but in the meantime guess what guys i'm going to go build that 3d printer and i'm going to put some test runs and i'm going to play around with the software so that is the update i am so happy now with this quarantine that's the pros I get to do what I love, put my passion into filmmaking, vlogging for you guys, and also do another thing I love at the same time, which is prop making. So therefore, I can do both at the same time. Not to mention, the other channel, the review channel, is going to be more active now. Since I have four months of off time, you're guys going to see a lot more videos pop up from that channel. And therefore, um, this is what I'm thinking, is if you guys are okay with it and you guys like it, here's some feedback from you guys then I'm going to post a little bit of updates of my prop making on this channel and then the rest of the detailed explanations and all my actual, uh, all the process of my prop making will be going on the review channel because it's kind of meant for that. So therefore, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And long story short, I'm gonna end it here for tonight. This vlog's not over. I managed to keep it at 10 minutes. I managed to cut it eight minutes short, which is nice. So therefore, I, what I'm gonna do right now is after I end this clip, I'm going to go out there, assemble that printer, because there is assembly required. I'll tell you why because tomorrow, what I got, brand, model, and whatnot. I'm going to assemble that printer, take a shower, go to bed. Maybe have a bit nice snack, but, and then go to bed, because pretty much everyone's asleep by now. So long story short, guys, I'll see you in the morning, and I'm going to get to work.
Peace. All right, guys, so I lied. Basically, I'm going to open the package right now a little bit on camera just to see a brief assembly of it. So we'll see how that goes. Talk about being a thick boy. Success. Let's see what we have in here. Ooh, let's put this off the side. We got a bunch of tape holding it together. Hang on. Let's just, oh, I just stubbed the foam. I actually keep the foam so I can use it for a helmet. So that was actually a bad thing that I stabbed it. Saran wrapped. Okay. Nice and tight. Oh. Ooh, this is the print bed. Okay, so we got a piece of tempered glass under here. And tape, I believe, the print machine. So I'm gonna get this set up. There should be instructions. If not, I'm in trouble. But basically, gonna get the set up. I'll give you guys an overview shot. I should put it around here by an outlet. And uh, we'll get more reviews of this tomorrow. All right, guys, little update. So we have the top of the frame. The bottom of the frame, the control box where we set all our printer stuff, we got a bunch of wires, huge box uh, full of parts. I think these are the instructions. It comes in English, but this is also helpful. It comes in Chinese, which I could read. And yeah, because this is a Chinese company. And then we got two hoses over here, and I do not recommend smelling these because I always have a curiosity of what certain things smell like. These smell like cancer. Do not tip do not smell them and yeah we got a uh, the frame we got a spatula here which thank you i got one myself but that works oh hi guys this could be used as a mirror <laughs> but anyways i'm gonna start assembling it and uh we should be good to go so yeah all right guys another brief little update i just want to say these are all the parts currently laid out they're really generous for all their stuff like MakerBot. All these other brands, you gotta step up. I want. I now understand why this is one of the top highest selling brands out there. Even though it came from, like these type of packaging, and it's just a you know frame. It's not really running on their own software. I now understand. There's so much more worth it than this box. It comes with filament. Mine did too. This is a small roll. It's okay. It can get me started. I can always get more because I think I have two extra rolls in there that I can use. We got this plug. That's assembly. This is assembly. These are all assembly. It gave me a spatula to scoop the print out, even though I have one. I have two actually, so I appreciate the gesture. So that's actually really nice and thoughtful of them. Three month warranty card. That's nice. All parts, excluding the fittings. We got a bag full of parts and everything. And they didn't only give me parts, they gave me zip ties to tie down the cables, because you know how I love my cable management. We got wrenches, even though I have my own tools. Everything. That's so thoughtful of them. More clips. Tie down cables. Thoughtful. Spare parts. Obviously nice, you know, from local manufacturers. Two fittings. Uh, two fittings. These are for just design and aesthetics reasons. There was black and orange. Black in other colors. I got orange. So yeah, that's unnecessary. Filament tube. That's nice. Super thoughtful of them. Masking tape. Not just a sheet. Uh, two sheets of masking tape like maker bot i got a whole roll of masking tape that is so thoughtful actually i have my own but i love the gesture they gave me and they gave me a, a micro sd card that has eight gigabytes with a usb drive combination this is really cool never seen anything like this i think this is only like in china and whatnot but don't know what brand really thoughtful loving it cruelty you have my package approval so far so we're gonna keep going all right guys so it is actually a couple days later i didn't actually think that i was gonna make post this vlog anyways because it was fail why i'm about to tell you i built the printer right i've assembled it everything's all good look at that beautiful great great construction solid it has a nice large build volume guess what it doesn't work something's wrong with the software firmware the filament won't feed through and there's trouble with it leveling. 
I try to consult groups on Facebook and forums, Reddit, and I'm not experienced with DIY printers, so when they tell me some of these technical terms, I have no idea what they're talking about. But I still tried the best I could, but I tried to troubleshoot all the problems, did not work. So therefore, I couldn't send it back. And this is actually the next vlog that you're gonna watch. I've already filmed it, so yeah. But however, what's happening is, uh, it's not working, so therefore, we don't have to return it. I'll tell you why. First things first is that we try to return it, and the customer service, by the way, is horrible. You can. That's the first thing. The customer service is horrible. Some people get lucky with printers working. Mine, not so lucky. They will not let us return it because they don't like to give you refunds back. So therefore, like with most other people that had the same issues, we disputed the payment and the charge on the credit card and the credit card company was fortunately able to refund us back the money so then now uh, they don't even ask us to return it anyway so therefore we don't have to return so now i basically got a free printer that doesn't work sitting here so hopefully i can get someone to fix it get this thing to work and then i'll have three printers because i ordered another one which is pretty recommended and hopefully it does work well it's the Artillery Sidewinder X1. Hopefully it works. Hopefully there's no problem with it. It's pretty good from what I heard. So fingers crossed, right? Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this vlog. It's a failed vlog. And well, let's just say that um, hopefully the new printer will work. And yeah, so this is just going to sit here. It's not going to be used until we somehow fix this if not then it's just literally gonna sit here so yeah hopefully a new one works and uh more detail on the next video which is the next vlog on the new printer and when it'll arrive so yeah i already ordered it and hopefully everything's gonna go well and yeah so thank you guys for watching uh, uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this video even though it was a fail like if you like and subscribe do all that good stuff like you usually do keep the support coming love hearing from you guys love the comments and love the feedback so therefore keep your questions keep your dms coming i love interacting with you guys it's gonna be it's such a pleasure to be able to talk with you guys and answer any questions that you guys don't know that i can be knowledgeable and answering so long story short thank you guys for wa watching I almost said walking thanks for walking too <laughs> but um anyways guys i'll see you guys on the next vlog and hopefully everything goes better the next vlog after that so yeah, as always guys, this is Green Engine 97, signing out. Peace.